Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Borisenko and Gorvinkel. This game was played in Soviet Union in 1955. Borisenko had white pieces and he started with d4. Gorvinkel played d5, c4, queen's gambit, e6, queen's gambit declined, knight to c3, knight to f6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, c5 going for Tarash variation, c takes on d5, c takes on d4, queen takes on d4, bishop to e7 and pinning, e4, knight to c6, attacking the queen, pawn is pinned, if pawn takes knight then queen takes queen. So we have queen to e3, knight takes on d5, attacking the queen, discovered attack on the bishop, e takes on d5, bishop takes on g5, attacking the queen, f4, knight to b4, threatening a family fork. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Borisenko casted queen side. Now threatening pawn takes pawn, discovered attack on the queen. Bishop to e7. Queen to d4, attacking the pawn on g7. What happens if d takes on e6? If d takes on e6, then queen to c7. And after e takes on f7, king takes on f7. Neither king is safe, but looks like that white king is even less safe. In this variation, king to b1, knight takes on c3, queen takes, queen takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. Black is perhaps somewhat better. A little bit. Okay, so we have queen to d4 attacking the pawn on g7. Knight takes on d5, knight takes on d5, e takes on d5, queen takes pawn on g7. Bishop to f6 defending the rook and attacking the queen. Rook to e1 check, king to d7, queen takes on f7 check. King to d6. It is a bad news for black when king goes for a walk like this. Do you agree? Why to move? Borisenko played a trick move. Bishop to c4. Not falling for a trick. What was the trick about? If d takes on c4, then check. And after king to c6, rook takes queen. We have a king to c5 attacking the bishop, bishop to b3, rook to f8 attacking the queen, queen to h5, black to move. Black has a good move in this position. Can you find the best move for black? Gorfinkel played queen to c7 failing to find the best move. He actually saw the best move a move later. But the best move is bishop to f5. Idea is to play rook to c8 next. This is a trap for white. If white takes bishop, then check and after king takes bishop, rook takes a queen. So perhaps in this position white would not take the bishop, he would play developing move, but then king to b6 and rook to c8 next. Looks good for black. We have queen to c7, knight to e2, and now Gorfinkel spotted bishop to f5. This is the most interesting moment of the game. Why to move? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? 
Borisenko fell in a trap on purpose. Bishop takes on b2, check. King takes bishop. Rook takes queen, but now rook to c1, check. Ouch. Black resigned. If king goes to d6, rook takes queen. And after king takes rook, there are perhaps other moves, but one line goes like this. g4. Rook to f7. Bishop takes on d5. Rook to g7. h3. Rook to e8. Knight to c3. And you get the picture. And let's go back to this very interesting position. So this is the position. Instead of immediately playing the best move, bishop to f5. Black played queen to c7. And then after knight to e2, bishop to f5 didn't work. This is how the game continued. Bishop takes, king takes, rook takes, rook to c1. Quite often we see the best move after the game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.